Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you a print I did with a puzzle that Angus at Maxmuse did and he made a small challenge to the community to, to print this model out and I accepted that challenge. So let's have a look after the intro. So Angus made a puzzle model that is a, a old type of puzzle where you have to arrange parts and it, once you scramble the puzzle up it takes some time to rearrange the parts and he was doing it with his logo on top and, and he made a video on how he created the model and how he could print it out and if you're a Patreon of Angus you could get this model or otherwise you can buy it on his Comrade page and I will link to, to the model Gumroad page and his video in the video description. But I really want to try this out because in the end of the video he, he uh, challenged people to try it out and, and he said he would be interested to see if someone would print a topological map on top of the puzzle and as I create maps and do those map landscape paintings I felt that <laughs> that challenge was somewhat directed to me so I decided to try it out um, I did this in in both Fusion 360 and uh, in Max Mixer to create this model and I'm gonna show you the process of how, how I did it so let's have a look first in Fusion because Angus supplied the Fusion 360 design files so you could make changes to the model. So let's have a look in Fusion 360. So Angus released his Fusion 360 file and here you can see all the steps he went through and you can edit everything you like. And one of the last thing he did was to imprint this text here. Um, what I have to do is to remove that. So uh, this is the starting point for me. I'm just gonna delete those steps not made the text here and now I want to create a template that I can use to cut up my landscape model and I want the, the landscape model to create to be created in the same size as those tiles here so I have to create a, a model to cut away from the landscape model and what I want to do is to project the lines of this top layer to my design so what I can do is to hit the P for project and select those surfaces and then also this one so I will get on the design those those lines so what I want to extrude is the, the external parameters on this part so it will be a template to cut out the model so now I can extrude this a good amount so this will be a template that I can use in, in Max Mixer to cut up the landscape model the landscape model is so high polygon I can't really import it into Fusion 360 so I have to use Max Mixer to, to do this part I'm going to export this as a STL so when I go in Max Mixer, I already have the tile here. Um, this is a low poly version of the same tile I've been printing out and, and painting. So it's less detailed than I normally do. But as the puzzle is in a small size, I reduced the polygon count just for making this video a little bit quicker because the that data is really big. The whole XDL for this tile in full resolution is 1.5 gigabyte in size <laughs> so it's quite big but now I have the tile here and I want to import the import the part that I created in Fusion 360 and I will append this model and here it comes and what I want to do is to create a solid out of this model so I go into edit and make solid and I add a little bit of the accuracy because I want to have it in a good detail because of the puzzle pieces need to be in a 
and correct shape. So now this is a solid object and I can throw away this part. And now I have to align the, the landscape piece. So I'm going to edit and transform and I have to put it on top. And then push it down into the model. And now I will use this as a Boolean operation. I have select both models and create a Boolean difference. It will calculate the models and leave me with the tiles of the model that I can add on into the puzzle. So now I have this this part here. So going back into Fusion, I want to export this like this as a STL. So this will be the puzzle part. And now again in Next Mixer, I will import this and append it. Now, as I have both objects, I need to delete one tile of each part. So, in order to do that, I have to separate the shells. So, I go into edit and separate shells. And then I'll get multiple objects for this part. And I can select this one and, and delete it. And I have to do the same for this one. And I can select this one and delete that one. Now I can select those tiles. And I'm gonna transform those so they will align with those parts here in the bottom. It takes a while to arrange everything. Just have to move those parts slowly to have everything in a good place. I want to go inside the model a little bit. So they fuse together. So now I've got the shapes in place and they're aligning up pretty good. They're not perfect, but close enough, I think. The, the parts are giving me uh, good clearance in every direction, so I'm not too worried. So now I have those multiple files that I need to combine into a single STL file. So to Select everyone and do a combine, and then I'll have a single file to export. And those are all the different parts of the file. But you go now into file and export, export this as a puzzle combined, and it complains at the about a complex object, but I think it's going to be okay. So now in the slicer software, I can import this as an STL file. And that gives me this file here. So I think this is looking good. And now I can slice this up. I'm gonna print it out on my Prusa MK2 printer. And I'm gonna print it out in 0.15 millimeters. Um, 20% infill and preview the code and here you can see the, the landscape parts start to build up and 
the infill is, is so solid infill between the parts even though they're not fused together maybe because uh, the parts maybe have a, a little bit of they're a little bit off as you can see here but it doesn't hurt so much it's just a small gap but if I look at the g-code you see it's like one millimeter maybe off on this side but it's working out okay so now I can print this and, and I'm gonna sh show that to you so this is the result I got this one uh, I printed on my Inkbit 2 printer and I had some difficulty breaking up the uh, part in the corners and I broke away a little bit here and I brought down the coordinates of the parts to help me align because the landscape makes it quite difficult to arrange everything but uh, this is freely moving and, and gave me good result and what I did was printing another one and I did a painting paint job of, of it so now it looks like the landscape prints and here's a part of a glacier called Vatnajökull and this is Skaftafell, this area here so now it's a real puzzle with a good landscape model on it and I hope Angus will see this video and, <laughs> and it would be interesting to see what he thinks of it it would be awesome if he uh, had the chance to, to look at this video <laughs> but let's see how uh, if he does but this was coming out great. So this was my video on the puzzle Angus made the other day. And he says in his video, his goal is to empower creativity. And it's your date in this case. I spent a good amount of time figuring out how to do this. And I spent uh, some time thinking about how I could cut the landscape model like I did. And when I figured it out, it was quite easy to do, as you saw in the video. But uh, it was fun to do and I loved doing this puzzle and, and painting the tiles and I've scrambled up the models and, and rearranged everything so it takes maybe 20 minutes to arrange everything as you have mangled up the, the parts so it's good good fun and it's a it's working uh, as it should so I will like I said in the beginning I'll link to Angus's video where he made this model um, and I hope my addition to it on how I fused my landscapes to the model gives you good information on how you can make your own. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.